Hello, Nuggets. Hey, so it's been a while since they did a fishing one. Um, I'm up to... I've got the mic in. I've got, I'm up to 13. Uh, chugging along. And I wanted to make this... Uh, I'm back at Old Berg. Didn't like Belaya River. I do like Old Berg a lot. Really like it. It's my favourite one. I still like Mosquito Lake a lot as well. But I feel like I've... There's three spots on Mosquito Lake that really appeal to me. Uh, but the reason I brought you back is I found really good spot uh, on Berg. So here's the problem, right? Let me show you the map. So I tried over here, it's great fishing, actually, really good spot. Over here, great fishing, really good spot. Over here, pretty good fishing. I feel like I could have done better if I was spinning a lot. Over here was pretty good spot, and there is actually a spot just around about here that's good as well. So overall, some really, really good spots. The problem is how far you have to go back every time. You know, you fill the net up or whatever it is you run out of bait or whatever and you got to go all the way back here so i started looking around the um the island just to see so i tried down there i went over i'm going to run because i'm not worried about disturbing the fish because i'm not going to fish here so i tried here a little bit and it was actually pretty good there's some good fish there um with a couple of feeder rods on the float um but the boats get in the way it's a little bit annoying um and then there was another spot Uh, that's the rock. Where's that duckweed? There was like a pool of duckweed somewhere over here. Wait, was it on the other side? Hang on a sec. We're going to find it. Because it's a good spot, so you should remember it. Oh, no, this is it. Yeah, this is it. At the log. This was actually surprisingly good. <laughs> I just threw out a couple... I threw my rods, my feeder rods down that way. And bent them this way. And then I was just fishing around this log. And over here sometimes. It was pretty good. Um, yeah, I tried that. I thought there was a duckweed spot as well, though. Oh, here it is. This is it. Is this it? Yeah. Okay, so this was good as well. I was casting out this way. I was casting as far as I could, getting out. Got a lot of bream. Got quite a few tench. A couple of pike. And then float fishing right there. Good spot as well, right? And it was right near the campsite, uh, which I liked a lot. And then I tried a few other places, and I was like, oh, it's, it's, it's okay, it's not as good as the other side. But then I found this one spot that uh, honestly is better. <laughs> it's the best spot I've actually found for fishing here so far. As little as I know about it. And it is right over, where am I? Here. So... Whenever I was using the feeder fish, feeder rods before, I was casting out as far as I could because I thought, you know, you want to get far away. So I set up my feeder rods here, right? And uh, I tried doing some clipping. I'm going to show you exactly what I did, right? So I tried setting the clipping and I was like, okay, I cast it. I'll get it right by that log. And I was catching some fish and it was all right. But then I accidentally set my clipping down to five. And I threw it in. I'm putting it on seven now because that's what I found is better. And I accidentally did this, right? I went, oh, ah, fuck it. I just left it in. So if I did that. Oh, hang on. You know what? Sorry. I'm actually not going to do that. Not going to do that because I want to put the bait on it first. So I basically put my rod right there. I've got uh, the Paternoster rig. So I'm using that and I'm using sweet dough or semolina semolina was hitting pretty well it's a new crafting thing i got so so i did that i was like ah eh, sod it i'll just leave it there we'll see what happens it's barely in the water right it's barely in the water and then i pulled out my other one set the clipping set the bait let's just try sweet dough on this one did that go in yeah and then uh let's set the friction the retrieval up Set the friction to 20. And then I did this. And, you know, you can tighten up the reel so quickly. It almost feels like it's not even touching the bottom. But it is. And I caught fish at an insane rate. Uh, the best I've seen so far, I think. Uh, I filled my net a couple of times. I got... Uh, I'm back up. I went down to, I was at, at four silver. I couldn't even buy Berg Lake because I went back to Mosquito. So I got Mosquito up to about 10 silver, then came here. 
And then in half a level, I've made 336 silver, which isn't a huge amount for where I want to get to, but it was pretty damn good. And these things did not stop hitting. And I was getting good when I got a couple of trophies, I think. Let me show you. Uh, ratings. No, I get this wrong every time. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What would it be? Oh, statistics. Okay. So I've got two trophies which I think I caught both of them here. Um, let's see, what was it? The Bleak and the Chinese Sleeper. I thought I got, actually, I thought... Anyway, um, point is, catching trophies, catching a lot of fish, some big fish, getting some nice big bream, big tench, decent pike. Uh, that's the same one, the bream, the bream, the bleak, the cruise. It's good, yeah, it's not a huge crucian, but it's pretty good, you know. And it was just, uh, there we go, look, hit it already. So it's just hitting really hard here. And it's not always huge fish. It's, it's a lot of small ones. But if you want to make cash and grind out your level, I highly recommend this. Set your clipping, cast it as far as you can. Because I'm not using, um, I'm not casting all the way out, the full reel, it means that uh, I can retrieve so much quicker. Look at this. It's back in, it's in the net, that was a good little roach. Throw it back in, drop it down, tighten the line. It's so quick, it's so quick, and I, I don't think it makes any difference if you're that, this close. I have taken to walking up to the spot rather than running. So I used to run everywhere, but now when I get close to this, I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna walk just in case there's some big fish in here. So I highly recommend this. Um, I think it's fantastic. The float fishing isn't quite as good. Um, I don't think. I don't seem to be as successful with it here. Uh, I've also noticed I'm missing a lot lately. I don't know what that is. Maybe I need better hooks. But casting it out there, sitting back, letting it do its thing. And usually during the day, this is hot. This is very slow right now. I was hoping I would go on and it would just like bang, bang, bang. But highly recommend the spot. So this is where I am. And I'm so close, look at that. I catch the fish, I get 20 or 30 in the net, and I can run them back. I just heard a rattle. Is something rattling? Am I going crazy? Anyway, um, I can run the fish back and, and uh, hand them in. And fish lose value after like, I think it's like three minutes. I didn't know that. It just decreases and decreases and decreases. So it's not that big of a difference, but it's nice to be close to uh, for running out of bait for getting new food for doing all that kind of stuff um yeah it's really good um the other thing is i noticed this uh yeah that's moving there we go oh, it's going crazy come on be a big one give me a big fish no um the other thing i noticed is the so i started upping my cooking come on in you come there we go i started up in my cooking because I was fed up with my hunger going up so uh, going down so often rather hunger going up so often so I thought well maybe if I'll cook better meals maybe that will do it so I'm up to now I think what can I cook oh I need a fire to show you but I'm up to like fish stew or something like that so I cooked some of that and and I cooked some baked potatoes with fish and I did all that kind of stuff you know what I don't think it makes any difference so I just started buying bread and when you buy bread, it does exactly the same as all that stuff that costs a fortune. And of course, you need bread to need a drink actually, and you need bread to uh, to make wet bread bait, so it's handy. But look at that! It filled my hunger bar. I don't know. I don't know. It feels like that system in the game might be a little bit underdeveloped or buggy or something. Um, so yeah, I would recommend just buy bread. Oh, there we go. What am I doing? Oh, it's a little baby. And the other thing I've noticed here is I'm catching lots of different fish. I think, I mean, I've caught, the only thing I haven't caught here is pike. But I've caught tench, bream, roach, crucian, gibble, uh, bleak. Uh, oh. What's this? Carp. Is that carp? Yeah. Um caught a lot of uh, fish over here so it's nice because you get like a night a Chinese sleepers it's nice you get a really nice variety and look I'm getting a lot of fish 
and it just kind of works out as soon as you drop one in the other one's hitting in fact i think i would even once i've saved up a bit of money i'm probably going to buy another feeder rod and just set up three feeder rods here there you go rain's coming down come on come on you little nugget take it you know you want it there we go yeah not huge fish but i have caught trophy trophy here oh i didn't want to go that far oh, well. um the other thing i've been doing so much i've been doing it so the other thing i remembered is i've i've been using my night crawlers uh my uh red worms rather is that what they are red worms where are they red worm I've been using the red worms at night because I was getting nothing at night. I just couldn't hit anything. I mean, a little bit, but not, but not much. Red worms seem to work better at night. And I think I saw that on a YouTube video, actually. So I don't think I discovered that. Someone said, try using your red worms. Was it on a forum? Anyway, whatever way, red worms seem to work better at night, I think. Or they're just overall more desirable. Maybe that's it, actually. But I don't use them during the day because, frankly, I don't need to. Unless that's the secret to catching big fish. It could be, you know, and I'm getting it wrong. Uh, I've been trying to skill up my um, ground bait game. It's slow. 6.3, my God, it's so slow just to get up to here. Um, I'm just thinking of resetting my points. The point system in this game doesn't seem that great, to be honest. Oh, oh I missed it. Um, you get one point per level... It doesn't feel like enough. The way they've got it set up, it feels like you're going to be lacking in points in a lot of areas. So, I don't know, maybe that's their design. But, I think it works great. Oh, I went too soon. Damn it. Oh, and I haven't even done the thing here. I've got to do it. With the thing that really helped the catching. Which is, of course, to chuck in the ground bait. Just dump it out there. There. I try and get it. I don't know how big the um, how can I put it the hit boxes on this stuff, but I try and get it kind of roughly. I'm probably overfeeding. I have no idea how many I'm supposed to throw out. There you go. Uh, that seems to help as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I just want to do a little check in, hoping I would catch something for you, something decent. Look at that, 96 gram crucian. Massive. Um, I've also been, in, in order to try and maximize... Let me grab this. Maximize my XP gains. I've been uh, drinking. And I was confused. I was like, well, how do I know if I'm tipsy? How do I know if it's working? So, <laughs> I'm so stupid. So, I wrote down the weight of a carp that I caught without uh, having a drink. And I thought, right, if I find a carp that's close to that weight, I'm going to compare these two numbers. Then I had a drink, right, to compare it. And uh, I compared the two numbers. I went, yeah, it does look like I'm, uh, I'm making a little bit more XP when I drink. And then I raised it tells you right on the screen how much more XP you've got. Look, so I'm now tipsy. XP tipsy bonus, one an idiot <laughs> so, so it's right there so my little experiment was completely pointless anyway so yeah have a drink it increases i mean it's only a little bit but every bit counts every bit counts Look, there's another one when you get a decent fish it's, you can get like 12 15 extra xp which it's not huge but i don't know if it goes up according to your level i mean it's got to be just a percentage i would think right yeah, that one's going to. Yeah, you see? Good spot. Why do I keep missing on this rig? Oh, I didn't. Click. Okay. Yeah, see? Good variety. Tons of different fish here. I'm just starting to feel, though, I don't know how much this grind is going to last me before I get a little bit tired of it, you know? And it might be my limitation of not doing my research to catch the fish because i see a lot of people in chat specializing like they want to catch this particular fish they want to catch like an asp or a red char 
or a monkey coat. Oh, that's a drink. <laughs> or a perch. Or whatever it is, right? They, they specialize on a particular... Oh, that's hook. What is that? They specialize on a particular fish. And that might keep my interest going a little bit. Right now, I'm interested in getting my level up. And that, I don't think, will last me very long. Because it's already slow, and I'm only at 13. And there are people out there at level 25. Well, there's people out there at level 50. But... I don't know. I can't see myself playing it for that long. It needs... There's, I need, we need more waters to do that. I'd like to see some animals in the game, to be honest with you. I'd like to immerse myself a little bit more. As good as it is, it needs... like, It just needs a little bit more life, a little bit more reason to be standing here than just grinding out the numbers. But, you know, maybe I just need to do some more research figure out maybe I'm missing a big part of the game like crafting your own lures maybe someone will say oh it's amazing you know that's how you catch the the blue ribbon fish or whatever anyway give it another minute or so let's see if we pick anything up um because I want to get this video up tonight um yeah old bird man there it is again look at that so close I love it could try going that way into the deep Oh, I lost the... Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, lots of little fish. But when you're grinding the XP, who cares, am I right? You know I am. These are tiny fish, actually. Look at that, right on top of my float. I'm not even bothering to turn my rods away from the line. You know, you like to, normally you like to have a la an angle to so that make sure you get the bell strike. I'm not even bothering that. I'm just throwing it in as close as I can and letting it go. Chinese sleeper. Not too far. That's good. Get any new gear since you last saw me? I don't know. I think I bought a new lure. I made the new semolina, which I like actually. This this is pretty good. I think it's worth. Semolina and sweet dough seem to be the the good things. Maggot is it tench? I think it was tench. We're really going for the maggots. Uh, then making the ground bait. You can see I started making food, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use bread. Oh, in here over there. In you come, boy. Ooh, nice touch. Yeah, as you can see, the float, not as great. I tried the bolognese as well, not as great. I haven't tried spinning here. Maybe I should try that right now. That's a nice one kilogram, maybe. 916. Yeah, maybe I'll try a little bit of spinning right now. Alright, what have we got? Is that my spin rod? Yes. Oh! Another tench. I really like the variety of fish I get in this spot. Makes it interesting because you get bored of just every fish is a crucian carp. Now I'm catching all of them. Chents, roach, all of the carps. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so let's try clipping. How far is that? 15? No. Nope. Hey, you never know, this might be a good uh, spinning spot. be nice to catch some pike in this spot. I mean, if I can catch pike here, I, 
I caught it all, except I think there's black carp on this lake. And I haven't seen them yet. Okay, let's set the clipping out a bit more. Let's try 20. What am I doing? It needs to go way further than that, apparently. Come on. Something take. It's daylight, you can you can see it. It's not a problem with seeing the lure. Come on. Something. Last minute. Anything want it? No. Right, let me uh, just grab this. Oh, there we go. That's over a kilogram. 1.2. Ooh, 1.78. That's actually a good crucian. <laughs> Probably my fish of the day so far. Oh, followed by a little Chinese sleeper. Really pleased I found the spot. I was really going off this game. I was like, oh god. But look at me, I mean, my, in, in this video alone, I've been, I don't know how long I've been playing now, but today, but um, I've got 22 in the keeper net already. I've got some nice fish in there. It's a good spot. It's not going very far, is it? Oh, you know what? I think I know what I did. I think I changed this to the wrong lure on purpose, just because I wanted to see if I could catch on it. Oh, I can't call perch. Did I? Yeah, I did. That's why. Oh, I'm an idiot. What should we go for? Let's go for the blue one. Now it's going to be going too far. Is it? Closer. There we go. I'll take that. The test on this uh, rod is 10 to 30 grams. Or 15 to 30. No, 10 to 30 grams. There we go. So you have to find um, a heavy enough lure. Come on, in you come. All right, so the spinner might catch some perch. Oh, I like that. This is good. Except I still still haven't researched spinning, so I still don't know, quite know about setting the hook. I just instinctively, if I hit something, I kind of try and jerk it back. And then read it in. I have no idea. Anything? Anything want my tasty spinner? Mmm, it's tasty. Oh, fishy, fishy, fishy. You gotta do the fishy song, otherwise they don't come. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Stupid fish. Stupid fish. Okay, let's try hitting that log and getting snagged, shall we? Oh, right. Next to it. Here we go. This is the one. This is the one. Incoming. Prepare yourselves. 1.9 pike inbound. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> it's another little perch, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Right on that log. Oh, miles off. Uh, I think, though, so far, this spinning is better than floating, actually. I think it's hitting a little harder than it was. What's on number three? Little fish. I do wish another thing that I think would be better is it's a little difficult to tell if the fish that's on the feeder line, feeder rod, is um, taking line or not. Like if it's beating the friction that you have set. I would like to see a better indication of that. Oh, did I lose it? Oh, there you go. Got it right at the end. I really would like to see a better indication of that. Like this one. I don't think it was taking any line. Yeah, it wasn't. My wife, not shouting at me. All right. That was it. Just want to show you a little bit of it. Great spot. Highly recommend it for grinding out levels. Um, if you don't want to try Belaya, if you, which you probably shouldn't, 
<laughs> unless you know what you're doing, uh, then go for it. And if you're a little bit bored of Mosquito Lake and you want to find something new, this is the spot. It's so close, it's awesome. In fact, let's, uh, let's do a little experiment here and find out how much we made in however long this video is. Put that away. There's nothing on this, right? No. Alright, so let's go have a look and see exactly how much we made. I'm going to run. Okay. Let's go. Do the cafe first. Don't want to waste any money. Just in case. I don't think I have enough for this, but we'll see. Do I have enough crucian? Five. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Seven silver coins. Do I have enough roach? I really want five. Oh, it came in too soon. Come on, roach. Do I have one large roach? No. Hide, grass carp, chub, tench. I don't have any big tench, do I? No. Roofy, bleak. I have a few bleak. No. That's it. Okay, so seven plus... Fourteen. So twenty-one. Nearly twenty-two silver. Which is, um, I think, pretty damn good considering how quick this video was. I could stay out there for another hour, maybe two hours, and, you know, 50, 60 silver. And before long, I'll have enough to buy myself a decent set up again. Uh, Alright, that was it, you little nuggets. Oh, Berg Lake. Maybe I'll come back when I'm 14 and I've got some new gear. If I can figure out something new to show you, that isn't me just standing on the banks of a fucking river. <laughs> which you can do without me, then I'll come back. Uh, if not, I'll come back when I've got to a new lake. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye.